Hello world, my name is Mohit Deshpande and this is Swift for Beginners. So in this video I want to talk about constants and variables. So what, what's the differences between constants and variables as well as how can we use them. But first of all, we created a new playground and you can see we have some statements here that are automatically generated for us. This first line here is what's called a comment. So what a comment is, it's initiated by two forward slashes and then everything after those two forward slashes to the right of it on the entire line the compiler just disregards that as kind of a plain text a human readable thing so you can see I have this variable here and on this right pane it's registering it if I put two forward slashes after it it disappears because it's not interpreted as being a variable anymore it's just interpreted as being human readable text the second statement here is called an import statement, and I'm going to save that for an upcoming video. Now this third statement is an example of how we declare a variable. You use this keyword called var, short for variable of course, and you give it you have to give your variable a name to, and then you have this equal sign which is called the assignment operator, and then you have this value. And in this case, it's what we call a string, and we're going to get to that in a later video, but a string is essentially just what it sounds like, a string of characters, and has to be surrounded in double quotes. But now, how do I declare a constant? So you declare a constant by using this let keyword, right? And so in this case, I'm going to say let pi, as in the symbol pi. So it, a quick side note, in Swift, you can use any kind of Unicode character or I mean I can use any kind of symbol to denote a variable in this case or a constant for that matter but in this case I'm gonna have the mathematical symbol pi when I have that equal to 3.14 you can see on the right hand pane it registers that so now I'm gonna try to change the value of this constant and what we expect is an error message good we got one we expect an error message because it's a constant. One of the basic definitions is that a constant, you can't change the value of it after this let statement. So you can see I tried to change the value of this, but it threw an error. If you want to be able to change the value of something after you've declared it, this is where we would use a variable. Right? So I'm going to say variable x equals 5. And you can see that I'll register on the right hand pane. But now what if I want to declare multiple variables on the same line? It's just for a time saver you can have a comma and then set some other variables. So what this will do is so this will declare three variables x, y, and z with their values 5, 6, and 7 respectively. But now say I don't want x to store number values, I want it to store strings. In this case what we would do is type in a colon and then whatever kind of value we want to store. So we want x to store strings, which here's an example of a string. So I'll watch what happens when I try to give x a number value. It should throw an error, right? And it does, because I explicitly stated that x can only store string values. Now when I give it a string value, of course, it should have no problem with that. There, no error should be thrown and you can see on the right hand pane no error is thrown so in this video we talked about briefly about what comments are as well as the differences between variables and constants and we also talked about how we can give a variable or a constant a specific type uh, and i hope to see all of you in the next video